welcome back to my channel. It is March 27th, 1035, because I'm looking at a calendar and a clock. <laughs> and um, I'm not doing anything today. Today I have off and tomorrow I have off. So I thought that I would do like a mini fitness vlog situation, um, because if you don't know, that's what I'm really into. Um, my major is exercise science and nutrition, and I like working out. I think it's fun, and hopefully be able to make it a career. But anyway, I thought that I would share some of my fitness journey and just talk to you guys, po hopefully show you some of my workout, because I'm going in just a minute. Um, and yeah, so, so first off, this is like my go-to gym look, like a t-shirt that I put a knot in the back of and then like some squat proof leggings, which these I got from the thrift store. I love these leggings. I washed them, worn them so many times, still stretchy, still perfect. They, such a good find. Got these from the thrift store. They were in like perfect condition. I wear them all the time. I don't know what brand they are, but it's not anybody like, it's not um, like Under Armour or Nike or anybody like that. They're just perfect and they're such a cute color and they kind of have an ombre thing going on. So yeah, I love them. And they make my butt look great. Boop. So, <laughs> so yeah, this is my go-to gym look. If you ever see me at the gym, this is probably the fit I go for. Um, so that I know of, I've lost two pounds while down here. Um, don't exactly know where, like I feel like, <laughs> feel like I kind of see a difference um, in just like my overall shape, but I think you're your own worst critic. I know that I personally am my own worst critic. Um, my goal was really not to lose any weight, it was kind of just to get more toned and eat better and I know that a part of that, um, will, I knew in order to get toned that I needed to lose a little bit of weight, um, but it wasn't like my main goal to lose weight. When I really sit down and like look at myself, I can definitely notice like a little more trimness around my hips and my waist, um, I'm growing my booty a little bit, little by little. And we're trying to get these arms together, hopefully. But yeah, so that's kind of a summary of what's been going on. I kind of transitioned my diet from like doing whatever I want <laughs> to like high protein and low carb if necessary. I do love carbs. I love pasta. I love butter. I love bread. Um, I like butter on my bread, which has nothing to do with carbs. The carbs are the bread and the pasta. But anyway, that is kind of my weaknesses. Um, and it's not so much that those things are bad, it's just the way I was eating them was bad. So yeah, I've definitely made, I've also introduced vegetables to my diet. I'm a big girl now, I'm an adult, and I actually eat vegetables, so that's been a great transition. And other than that, I'm just gonna take you guys to the gym with me and show you what I'm gonna do. Today is legs, so you'll get to see a little bit of booty, a little bit of leg stuff, and yeah. I have to go get some food after, so maybe I'll take you along with that too. Alrighty guys, on my way to the gym, it's a rainy day here in Florida. Um, the DCP gym amenities are not um, the greatest, but I have liked them because it's making me have to be more creative and do a lot more body weight like um, style workouts. This is a terrible angle, so sorry. Um, yeah, but I have to do a lot more body weight style workouts, and that's definitely good for me in terms of not relying on like the Smith machine or like the cables like now I have to like get creative and like do a little bit more research on new exercises because my body's getting bored of the same like five I do so it's definitely been a good trend Alrighty guys, so I try to start every workout with a warm up. It's really important and I wasn't always that great at remembering to do it, but the older you get, the more easy it is for you to get injured doing really simple exercises. So I try to remember to start every workout with a warm up and end every workout with a cool down. Um, I usually make sure I get some kind of hamstring specific exercise in in the beginning as well as my arms and then I end with some kind of hit exercise to get my heart rate going so that I'm ready for the treadmill or the elliptical or the stepper or whatever I decide to do that day. <laughs>
almost always start my workouts with cardio. Usually I get on the treadmill and I do about five minutes on and five minutes off running and walking. I do my running at about 6.3 and my walk at 3.9. All right, moving into the more leg specific exercises, I like to alternate between weighted and non-weighted exercises. Today, I started with donkey kicks on either side, three sets of 12 with 30 second rest in between. After that, I moved on to seated and weighted hip thrust. You're gonna start with your legs a little wider than shoulder width apart, and make sure that you're squeezing at the top. You're gonna sit back onto your heels of your feet, but not for super long, just so that you can feel them, and then pop back up. I did the hip thrust as well for three sets, 12 reps each. So I have no clue what to call these and I can't find the name anywhere, but I personally really love them. It's really good for single leg isolation. You're gonna put one leg underneath the other and have one at kind of a 90 degree angle above it. And then try to keep that interior leg off the floor and almost a pulsing motion. And I did again, three sets, 12 reps each on both sides. So the next exercise is a variation of an RDL or a Romanian deadlift. I'm doing the sumo style, so you're going to start with your legs wider than shoulder width apart with your feet facing outwards. You're gonna bring the weight in between your legs, keeping your arms straight and your legs straight without any bend in your knees. Last but not least, I am doing weighted squats. Again, in the sumo style, which is my legs wide and my feet pointing outwards. I'm using a 40 pound weight there and I'm doing three sets of 12. When you come to the top, I'm squeezing. All done guys but that was it i hope you guys enjoyed that was kind of like a quick <sighs> average leg day i try to switch it up and not do the same moves every week um also some days i'm not always on like a set thing so this week i did abs on monday arms yesterday on tuesday today was legs tomorrow i'll probably go back to abs and then friday i might just do like hit cardio and call it a week um, I try to rest on the weekends because I do work out five out of seven days usually. Um, as long as I get five days in, I don't care which days they are, I'm usually happy with myself. But yeah, that was it. If you guys have any like workout suggestions, killers for you, go ahead and comment them down below because I love learning new exercises. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.